Hey everybody, got an exciting one for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about how to take a model that you've created for a player character in Blender or Maya or 3ds Max or any other 3D modeling software you've got and bring it into Unity and get it rigged up and moving uh, the way that the built-in character controllers do, which is really, really cool. This uses the new animation system in Unity called Mechanim uh, and it's pretty awesome, so I'll show you how it works. So first of all, you're going to need to have a 3D model right here of a character. You'll notice I created mine uh, using a series of tutorials from YouTube, and if you're in the game design class, then you've already seen this. Uh, if you're not, then I will put a link in the um, info area where you can get to that playlist and learn how to do this. But uh, I've got my object right here with an armature, that's the bone structure, parented to it. So if I go ahead and switch into pose mode, you'll notice I can pose this guy. So he's very, very basic, which means he's going to look all weird when I pose him, but he does move the way you might expect him to move, which is awesome. So I exported him, file export, as an FBX file, which is now right here on my desktop. And I'm going to bring that into Unity. So I'll grab that model, FBX file, bring it into Unity. And here he is. And you'll notice that I'm looking at a model. Uh, so I have model settings, rig settings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, not going to import any animation because I don't really have any animation that I did with him. But if I go to rig, you'll notice there's an animation type area here. And if I select humanoid, then Unity is going to try to apply the their default humanoid avatar to this guy right here. So you see avatar definition create from this model. So it's going to look at the model and try to apply the uh, the built-in avatar to it. I'll go ahead and click apply and say, yeah, I do want those settings and then configure. And I have to save my uh, stuff first here. Now, if you've done all this perfectly, which I haven't because I'm kind of a beginner, uh, this will all auto map really well. Like I could go to mapping, auto map, and it would figure it all out. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. I do have some uh, issues that I still have to figure out. So what I'm going to do is manually insert all the bones and make sure that Unity knows which bones I want. So let's see, I labeled them all in Blender and you can see that whole structure right here. So I'm just going to make sure my labels match up with their labels. So I've got hips, spine, chest, shoulder. Okay, so it thinks that my hand left is upper arm left. That's not what I want. So I'm going to take upper arm left, put it in that upper arm slot, take lower arm left, put that in the lower arm left slot, and then I'll take hand left put that in the hand left spot. You can see the arm is starting to kind of come together there. Do the same thing on the right side. So my upper arm right is supposed to be this object right here. My lower arm right is supposed to be this object right here. And my right hand is this one here. I will apply that. And now my guy is in a T-pose just like it was before. I can move him around a little bit. See, he gets a little bit stretched out, but he's working. I'll apply and click done. And now this guy should be ready to, to animate. So I'll bring him into the game. I think I'm going to make him bigger because I actually made him a little bit too small. Uh, let's get my camera in place. That's fine, actually. That's a good place for the camera. Just make my dude a little bigger so I can actually see him. There we go. Now that camera should see him, no problem. Uh, let's see. I have an old rig test in here from before. Let's remove that. Okay. So there's my guy, there's my camera, and I need to get him animating. So you'll notice he already has an animator component on him, but it doesn't have a controller. So I need to create an animator controller. This is where we're getting into Mechanim, which is the new uh, animation stuff in Unity. And call this uh, Dude Animate. And we're going to animate him. So that controller is going to control him. So if I double click on that, now I'm in my uh, animator window. This is an animation state machine. And basically, I can do a whole series of animations in here and set up transitions between them and all kinds of fun stuff. We're going to keep it super, super simple. I'm just going to grab the one animation that I brought in here. I got this raw, raw mocap data folder from the asset store, and I only imported one animation because all I want to do is proof of concept, make sure this works. So I'm going to grab this sprint forward animation and put it in here. Uh, because it's orange, I know that that's my default animation, so if everything's working, when I start the game, it should just play. It shouldn't have to do anything. So let's do it. I'm going to press start. He's not moving. Okay, why is that? Let's see if we can figure this out. 
So this happened to me before. Oh yes, so this time the issue is that I made my animator controller right here, dude animate, and I didn't put it into his animator component. Always got to make sure you specify which animator controller you want to use. Now when I press play, you should see him animate. Okay, he looks super creepy, but there he goes. It looks like he's working. Uh, let's watch that one more time for fun, and then we are out. Check it out. Animating homemade characters in Unity. Here he goes. Woo! Awesome. All right, thanks, everybody.